In this video, I'm going to try to break down aerobic metabolism, uh, but I'm going to break it down in its simplest form. I don't want to overcomplicate this. Again, it's it's a, for an EMT course. So I'm going to get down to as technical as I have to get to without really making it hard. So I'm going over aerobic metabolism. Every time you hear this, we're talking about energy production in the body, really in the, in the cells of the body. So energy production within the cells of your body. Energy production really means the creation of ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate, and it is stored energy, and that's what keeps you alive. It's what keeps you going, all right? Now, it's not just the production of ATP because we can make ATP in two different ways. We can make it with aerobic metabolism and with anaerobic metabolism. Ana means that it just has this uh, at the beginning, and it means without oxygen this is this by itself means with oxygen so it means we're making energy with oxygen Anna means we're making energy without oxygen and I'll make a whole different video on this okay for now we're talking about making energy adenosine triphosphate that's what I really mean with oxygen all right so how does this happen well first off you have to eat so every time you eat we'll see that that's your stomach large intestine and then your small intestine well, the carbohydrates of the food you eat, they're all extricated from your small intestines, right? And then glucose is created. Glucose is a three-carbon molecule. I'm sorry, six, six-carbon molecule. Here we go. So it's a six-carbon molecule, right? And once the glucose actually enters the cell, so this is the cell, once and then the glucose has entered the cell, once glucose actually enters the cell, uh, in the cytoplasm, which is pretty much just uh, the empty space in your cell, we'll say that for now, um, it's split into two. This process is called glycolysis. Glycolysis means the splitting of a glucose cell. So glyco means glucose, lysis means breaking down. That's all that means, all right? So break down, break it down now, break down. Sorry, I'm a little, a little sick, so uh, sound a little off. But anyways, once the glucose has entered the cell, the the six molecule glucose, it's good. It's gonna break down into three different molecules. This entire step of breaking down this cell from a uh, six molecules to two individual three molecules, right? It's gonna be split in half, like holuses. It's a 10 step process. But I don't I don't cover that in this because there really is no need to. But if you wanna find out more, I mean, just leave a comment below. I'll definitely make a video on that. Well, in this process itself, ATP is created. From, from this, this 10 step process, ATP is actually created, right? <clears throat> now, if we were talking about Anaerob anaerobic metabolism, we'd be done there. That's it, pretty much. Um, but if we have O2, now O2 is going to latch on to these three carbon molecules that were just created from this six carbon molecule, and O2 is going to attach to them, all right? Well, after it attaches and it gets prepped up and it's, all, it's good to go, it's going to go into the Krebs cycle, and in the Krebs cycle, that's where there's a lot more ATP created. And that's the difference between anaerobic and aerobic. It's one of the differences is that there's more ATP created. It's more efficient. So, um, just to kind of get one more thing out of the way, let's go over CO2. Now, when the oxygen attaches to the three molecule, the three carbon molecule here, um, it's gonna take away one of the carbon molecules, right? With some of the O2. And then this is gonna be converted into CO2, and this is a byproduct of ATP also. Once these two go into the Krebs cycle, each 
carbon molecule will be converted into CO2. All right, and this is going to be a byproduct of making ATP. Um, obviously, for there's each one goes into its own uh, Krebs cycle. So this one's going to go into its own Krebs cycle. This one's going to go into its own Krebs cycle, and it's going to produce ATP, CO2, and H2O are both a byproduct of that. There's um little steps that goes in that go into making ATP, but I'm not gonna cover them in this video. I said it's a super simplified version just, just to kind of give you an idea, like an intro of what happens. Um but like always, I mean if you do want me to break this down, anybody that's watching this video, I would be more than happy to break it down and make it as easy as possible. Uh, for now, I just want you to know what aerobic metabolism is and give you like the big overview and just kind of big picture of what's going on and not really get too detailed into what happens. Uh, Alright, hope you enjoyed it and see you later.